Hey everybody, welcome back to the Midwest Melders channel. Tonight we're going to take a break from those two great big motors and I'm going to show you how to break down an armature. So I got it here on the table. It's pretty easy. So I burn it first. If you got to, you'll never get it apart. So it's got the same thing a stator does, except there's no real good way to drive it out. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut all along through here and then just pull it out so I'm gonna get my stuff set up I'm gonna put you guys on the stand and we'll do it all right guys let's get started Alright guys, this is going to be a little tedious because it's just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. I suppose I could cut the coil back here and pull it all out in one go, but this ain't too bad. It's like a puzzle. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it again. And then maybe they'll mostly pull out. That's what I should have did for the first, from the beginning.
looks like I'm trying to got you out of the frame a little bit. There we go. That'll work a little better. Take my face shield off. Hopefully we're done cutting for a little bit. I'm just kind of working the wire out. Guys, if you remember right, this is the exciter armature out of that SA300 we did probably a month ago or so. Maybe it was two months, I can't remember. It wasn't that long ago. What we're doing, we're just pulling the layers out as we come to them. So this is definitely a little trickier than a regular like doing a stator. This is kind of like a puzzle, it seems like. You gotta go around, grab what's on top, kind of pull it out in, in order. like it's somewhat braided in there. All right. So now I could probably take each of these individual layers here and pull them back out the other way. Yep. Takes a little bit of effort, but they're coming out. Kind of wadding them up. Guys, we're almost at 850 subscribers, by the way. We're getting closer to that thousand. Pretty excited to get to the thousand. We'll get the maybe get some things monetized and be able to buy some things, more things, and make better content for you guys. Maybe get better a better camera or something. We'll see. Definitely more content. As you guys know, I enjoy making videos for you guys and interacting you with you guys with the comments and all the likes and stuff and all the cool stuff you guys send me. You guys send me links to videos to watch and things like that. I really enjoy that too.
Tonight's video is going to be kind of short, but a lot of guys are scared of these because, well, I didn't know how to take one apart at one time, so I finally learned. And a lot of things I'll, you just learn by doing, but some things helps to see somebody else do it first as well. So... If you like today's video guys go ahead and go ahead and hit that like button in the corner it really helps get the video out there maybe we can help other people learn maybe maybe not so much learn maybe get them interested in this and uh, grow our community a little bit All right, back to pulling the puzzle apart. Looks like there's one wire left there to cut. These definitely are not as enjoyable to take apart as an electric motor stator. I can tell you that, but there's still copper in it, and I have it, so why not? Probably a couple pounds in here. We'll wait up here in a minute and find out. But very minimal tools. Like I said, just a grinder with a cutoff wheel and uh, the screwdriver is all, all I've had to use so far. Seems a little stubborn, but we'll get it. We don't give up around here too easy. Not when there's copper involved, anyway. All right, I'm gonna finish cutting right through here. Put my face shield back on, this stuff throws pretty bad.
apologize for the noise, the neighbor's coming home. So, Alright guys, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this so you kinda get an idea how this is, how this works. And uh, we'll be back when to uh, finish to weigh up the copper to finish out the video. Alright guys, we got it all done, got it all weighed. Like we ended up at three pounds even. For you kilogram guys, 1.35 kilograms. So, all right, guys, I know today's video was a little short, shorter than what we normally make, but uh, I figured some of you guys might want to know how to get a, some copper out of a uh, armature. It's not too bad, it just takes a minute, and it's not much copper in it comparatively to an electric state motor stator but if you like tonight's video i encourage you to press that like button if you're not subscribed please please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified when we make new videos and i uh, hope you have a good evening and uh, we'll catch you on the next one